Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. Bear Fox here, and I'm back again with another video and awesome FPS boost for Valorant. Now, I've made this guide previously, and a lot of you guys have complained about the game crashing. So, this time it is a revised version, and I hope this helps you. Also, thanks a lot for 15k subscribers. I seriously appreciate you guys a lot. And if you haven't yet already joined my Discord server, I'll be leaving a link in the description below. With that said, let's get started. Alright, first thing that you need is called desktop settings. For that, just go to the settings section of your desktop, go to Cortana and type in settings, open up here and start, search for startup apps, and then try disabling all the unwanted apps that you don't need when your PC boots. This decreases the boots time of your PC. Then over there, search for background apps and try disabling every background app that you can. And then search for game mode in the search section and you'll come over here then all you have to do is enable game mode and there in the advanced settings you go to graphic settings there you have to enable this thing and browse for the app i'll tell you how to do it first go to your local disk c and then search for valorant just like that and add it then go to options then choose high performance, hit save and close. Next thing that you need is called system configuration. Open system configuration and then go to the boot section. Over there go to advanced option and then tick number of processors and put the highest value, hit ok, hit apply and hit save. Next thing is called power options. Open up your control panel and search for power options. You'll come to a page like this. Hit high performance, save and exit. Next thing I recommend is called disk cleanup. It's really necessary for your PC and every Windows 10 has it. Open it up by searching for it and then you'll find it like this. Hit OK and don't worry this will remove only the unwanted applications and files from your PC. Hit delete files and wait for it to clean your PC up. I highly recommend you guys running an antivirus before going into your game because if you have any malware or adware or anything that slows your PC down, your antivirus will detect it and automatically remove it. Uh, if this is a paid version but you guys can use malware bytes, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description below. Next thing is called hard settings. For that, go to local disk C and make sure to enable hidden items just like this. Then go to uh, your users and then your name look app data local and search for valorant then go to save go to config and choose the first folder over there go to windows and you'll find game user setting right click on that and hit edit if you can't see edit over there you can hit open with and use notepad once you are here scroll all the way down until you find the scalability group. Over there you find something called SD resolution quality, it's set to 100 by default. You can turn it down to 70, 80 or 90 as you wish. For my GPU, 100 is the best, but if you use Intel HD graphics, you can scale it down to 70, 80 or 90. Remember, don't scale it down below 70 because then the game will become very choppy and blocky and you guys won't be able to play. So put anywhere between 70 to 90, it's a safe range. Once done with that, save and close. Next thing is called the FPS Boost Pack. Now I've personally made this thing. Um, you'll find four applications in this folder. Uh, first two are the commands. Uh, run both the commands with the administrative permissions in your PC. Then open the Valorant High Priority. Run this file with an administrative permission. It's a registry file. Hit yes and hit save and it's gonna be done. Last thing that you need is called this thing. Run this as administrator. It's something MSI configurable stuff. So um, you just have to find your graphic card. For me, it shows NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super, but you guys can find your integrated graphics or your AMD graphics as um, in respect to whatever you have in your um, system. Then from here, undefined, put it down to high. Hit apply and hit close. Next thing is a software called Memreduct. Now it's one of the very necessary software. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. 
open it up and I'll show you how it works. You have to open your charge manager and look at this. There is a 48% consumption of my memory. I hit clean memory. I give it the administrative permissions and then I hit yes. It won't go more below than 34, 35% because uh, Valorant is running in the background. So let's move to Valorant and now I'm going to be sharing you guys um, the internal settings. For that, go to settings and go to video. Over there, make sure you run the game in windowed full screen or full screen mode only because it gives you the best frames per second. Then just make sure to avoid putting any of these on or limiting your frames. Next thing is going to the graphics quality and then over here even pros recommend to get play your game at the lowest settings possible because it gives more clarity and more better frames. So just make sure to put every single settings on low and then the vintage off, vsync off, aliasing none and anisotropic filtering. Um, you have to keep it 1x, I like to keep it 4x so yeah anything works. Um, for improved clarity, I put this one on. I know a lot of guys recommend to put this thing on off, but to me, it doesn't really matter. So I put it on on. You guys can go putting it off or anything you like if you have a bad graphics card or if you are, have a bad PC. For me, I'll put it on and rest all the things you should turn off. I'm going to drop in a game and I'm going to be showing you guys the frames I'm getting. As you guys can see in the bottom left section, here is the client FPS that I'm getting for this game. As you guys can see, I'm getting more than 150 frames and it even goes up to 230 frames per second. So this thing might be less for you because I'm running it on GPU, but I guess it's going to be increasing 50 to 60 frames than regular in your game. So guys, I hope this video helps you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button. And again, thanks a lot for 15k subscribers. You guys have been really supportive and helped me reach 20k subscribers. That's the next milestone. See you guys in the next awesome video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.